Hey guys, I just want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Secret Cat Forest. In today's episode, I'm really excited. You guys left some pretty cool comments, and I'm excited to build and create and make elements. This is probably my favorite series I've done in a long time. And if you think so too, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Guys, this channel is growing really fast. Uh, let's try to beat my main channel to a million subscribers. So uh, make sure to subscribe and share the channel. Secret Cat Forest is easy to play with intuitive controls. There are dozens of adorable kids to find with their various unique and adorable animations. Here, let me show you how to play. So to gather the two main resources you need, you have your tree here that generates wood for you, so you're able to tap on it and to get yourself lots of wood. After you gather enough wood, you can go into the crafting section and create an item. It's that easy. But of course, we're gonna need things to feed all the cats who come and visit us. And to do that, let's go fishing. In order to fish, all you have to do is click on the fish and then release it once the arrow hits the red bar. Don't forget about your archive where you can see all the cats that have come to visit you and maybe the cats you want to keep an eye out for. My favorite cat is Fluffy. I mean, look how cute and adorable Fluffy is. So you can click on him and get your own adorable animations. The game plays in real time with a day-night cycle. My personal favorite thing about Secret Cat Forest is just how beautiful the soundtrack is, the animated background, it's just peaceful. It allows me to not have to think about any of the worries outside in the world. So what are you waiting for? Make sure to download Secret Cat in the description down below. The first 200 people who download and use the code Ryan Phillips will get a free 2000 wood in four cans of fish. So what are you guys waiting for? Download the game and have a nice peaceful rest of your day. I got a couple of cool things to show you guys. So let's do this. First things first, let's do, um, if you guys take, where is it? If you mix mud with livestock, you actually get a pig. So now we have pigs. And now I think we can do things with pigs. I think we can make like bacon and stuff, right? So if we get, if we put a tool on a pig, we get meat, but I don't want meat. I want bacon. I wonder, I wonder, can you get bacon? Fire and pig. Yeah, bacon! Oh, wait. I wonder if we can make like a BLT. Uh, do we have bread? I think we have bread. Bread. Bread and bacon. Boom. A sandwich, guys. We got a sandwich. Wait, if we mix a, a sandwich with a human, do we get a chef? We do not get a chef. That is very sad. And we still have a lot of things that we're kind of missing out on. So let me show you guys what we got going on here. So one of the things that I, we haven't done yet, which I'm really surprised, if you mix earth with earthquake, you get a mountain. How did I not get mountain? I have no idea how I didn't think to mix earthquake with earth, but we did get a mountain. And so what you can do is if you get a mountain and then we're going to be able to mix that with livestock and livestock will get us a goat. And yeah, so apparently you can also mix human and goat and you get a fawn, which I didn't know that's what you called like a, a per, uh, like a, a goat person or I, I forgot exactly what they called, but like they're in fantasy uh, films and creatures and things and my bobbers. Let's just look and see. I think, wait. One thing we did, we kind of missed out on is we can make, where's cloud? We can do cloud. We've actually missed a lot of things with clouds. We can do, and by a lot of things, I mean, I mean two things that I can think of. If you mix, I know we've been trying to create storm for a while, but if you get lightning, I mean, I'm sorry, if you get electricity and cloud, that's how you get a storm which I can't believe it took us that long to get a storm, guys. And you can also mix the livestock with a cloud and that'll give you guys a sheep. And now we have a sheep. And what we can do, I just realized, now that we have a sheep, we can use a tool on the sheep and we can get wool. Can we do any tools with wool? Can we make clothing? We made a sweater. That was a Christmas sweater. That was definitely a Christmas sweater, right? Let's see, that was definitely a Christmas sweater. Let me look. Where's sweater? It's going to be on, like, the bottom. This is a Christmas sweater. And that gives me the idea. I want to try something, guys. If you get a star and a tree, and you put a star on a tree, you get a Christmas tree. Wait, you can mix Christmas tree with something? What would you mix with a Christmas tree? People? Maybe you put human and Christmas tree? Santa! Santa? Wait, now you mix Santa with the Christmas tree. 
Where's where's where, where's the where is C? Where is C? Christmas, Christmas tree, a gift. Okay. Now, what happens if you mix a gift with a human? Is that what gift and human have a gift? No, but you can do a gift with something. So I don't know exactly what. What's going to go with a gift? Maybe a fireplace? We do have a fireplace, right? Fireplace. Do we not have a fireplace? No, we have a fireplace. Can, what about... So what if we get that, a fire and brick? Let's see. Fire and brick. There was... We definitely... You can definitely make a fireplace, right? We have a fire and brick. No? Oh, wait. What about campfire? Campfire and brick? Fireplace. Fireplace and gift. No, that does not work. Uh, where's the fireplace? The fireplace went away. What if we mix fireplace with the wool? Because we made a Christmas sweater. So what if we got the wool? A Christmas stocking. I feel like we're still missing out on stuff, right? Like, let's get swords, rocks. What else do we want to put together? What else do you think? I don't know if we've done anything with scythe. Um, let's see. What else is there something we can do? We, I don't think we have, we've done, we haven't done anything with pig, really. Oil. We haven't done much with oil. Um, I don't think we really did anything with money. Let's keep looking. We need to, I feel like there's more, I don't know if we've done anything with meat. I know we made burger out of meat, but I don't think we made a lot. Maybe night. Maybe we, let's, let's, fo okay. Maybe, maybe what we should do is think, think more in a specific timeline. Right, because now our timelines are all mixed because we have like knights and the internet and nerds and, and tools and, and like all of these things and, and these things don't really like go together that well. So maybe maybe if we think in, in certain time periods, we might be able to do certain things, right? Let's think medieval times. What in medieval times do you have? Well, you have knights and knights and humans don't really go together. You have horses. We don't have horses. How do you get horses? L um, let's duplicate grass because I think it has to do something with livestock and grass. Livestock and grass makes a cow. Cows eat grass. Horses eat grain and hay. Do we have straw? Wheat? No. What if you use the scythe on grass and cut the grass? Hey, now we can get livestock and then we can get a horse. So if we get a livestock, put a horse, now we have a horse. And then we can do, let's duplicate knight, knight and horse. That doesn't go together. Okay, but we didn't. Wagon. Do we have a wagon? Uh, a wagon. We have a wheel. Uh, a wheel and a horse. Uh, what about wheel and wood? Let's see, wood. Wheel and wood. Does that make a wagon? A cart. A cart and a horse makes a wagon. Okay. A wagon and a knight? Mm, a farmer and a wagon might make a peasant. Because that's old. That's like olden times, right? Farmer and wagon? I was expecting that to go together. But grass and... Uh, I have no idea. But we now we have a wagon. Uh, knight. Uh, let's do... The sword and the stone. Oh my gosh, that actually works. Now we have Excalibur. Knight and Excalibur makes... Does that make a king? No. Um, knight and human. Knight and house. Castle! Well, now we have a castle, so that's nice. Money and castle. Human and castle. A monarch. We, now we have a king. Monarch and Excalibur makes King Arthur? No. Let's take time. Time and monarch. Time and horse. Time and Excalibur. Time and oil. Meat. Money, pig, wagon, time doesn't do anything. Money. Oh, I made a piggy bank. Duh. We made a lot of medieval time things. What else did they have in medieval? Bow and arrow. How do you make an arrow? Let's see. A bow and arrow it would be wood and string. I That's what I would assume, right? So what about wood? Wood. Wood and wool. Okay, wool is actually like, it's, it says wool, not string. Like, this says wool. I know it looks like it's a ball of, of, of that, but it says wool. 
and in the olden days, they used wool and, and wheels together to make, to make things. Thread. Rope! We got rope! Now can we do wooden rope to make a bow and arrow? No, we cannot. But now we have rope. I'm gonna blow you guys' mind. Get ready, guys. We're gonna need a robot. We're gonna need electricity. Where it is E. E electricity, guys. Alrighty. What do these four things make, guys? They make a Roomba, obviously, guys. Broom, vacuum cleaner, Roomba! Hey! Alright, uh, well, I thought it was cool. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Don't be like that, guys.